How's it going everybody? Today I'm just going to take a break from working on quadcopters to work on, on some hoverboards. So if you've seen on other videos, people have been saying to reset the scooter if one wheel is not turning and the other one keeps going or something. And the way you reset the scooter is you just press the power button and you just keep holding it. And there's a light at the bottom of your uh, hoverboard that flashes red and both the actual lights flash blue uh, once you once it's in reset mode. This one is not flashing right now because I disconnected it. But I'm actually going to show you on how to check if you have a bad sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this and I'm going to show you how to check if you have a bad sensor. Because a lot of people, a lot of videos don't tell you that you might have a bad sensor and people just keep saying, hey, just press the button and it'll fix your scooter. But sometimes that's not the case. So let's go ahead and unscrew this and I'll show you what's under there and how to check it. So to unscrew your sensor here, there's uh, four screws on each side, okay? So we're going to go ahead and take those off. Okay, so I finished unscrewing the sensor, as you can see here. So the sensors work by, uh, similar to your garage door, you see these little black uh, slits here. So there's one here and another one here. And the way that works is, when you step on your hoverboard, uh, these little black uh, rubber thingies, uh, when you step on it, this one goes up and it blocks the light on the infrared light of your sensor. And then if these things are not working properly, then your scooter's probably not balancing properly. So, um, right now I'm going to check to see if this actual uh, sensor is working. And I'm going to do that by powering on the scooter. So, let me put pause here on this video. And uh, let me go get something so I can check if this sensor is bad or is it because these pads are not long enough. Because they have to be a certain length. And I'm going to check to see if they're not long enough and they're not reaching the um, infrared lights themselves. So let me go ahead and check that. Okay, in order to check this sensor if it's working properly, so I'm going to go ahead and power it on. Make sure you connect it to power. Uh, this connector right here is actually for the LED light, so I'm not worried about that. I'm actually just worried about to see if uh, um, I can hear the beeping noises once the sensor is on. Okay, so the scooter's on right now. Let me see. I'm trying to fumble with my phone here because I don't have anybody else to record for me right now. So I'm going to go ahead and block the light of the sensor right there with a piece of paper. You don't want to jam a screwdriver in there because you could probably damage the infrared light. So watch this. You see that? You heard that noise? That means that side is working. Let's go ahead and check this. This, um sensor here All right. and I apologize again because I don't have anybody here to record me using my phone uh, go ahead. I'm fumbling here for the second sensor okay so both these sensors gave me a beeping noise when once I inserted a piece of paper so that's just telling me that the sensor is okay so now I'm thinking that my scooter or my wheel was not balancing because one of these two rubber um one of these two rubber pads was not reaching up to the sensor either one is too short or one is probably um just too long or maybe it's not in in between the in between the slits it's not going in between there so hopefully i can repair that and i'll let you know what was the result all right, when you put when you screw this back in, you got to make sure that uh, these rubber pads go in between the slits. So you put it on carefully, okay? And make sure it's all aligned and then we'll screw it back on. Alright, so the results of my scooter and why it wasn't balancing, I mean, it was balancing one way but not going backwards, 
was because of this little thing right here. This little pad was not long enough and it was not reaching up to the sensor when I showed you that earlier. If it's not uh, reaching up to the infrared sensor here, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to balance properly. So now, and also this little pad here works by, if you press it right here, it's supposed to catch and hit the infrared light on the sensor I showed you. And mine wasn't doing that. But now everything's okay and it's working properly. Hopefully this helps some of you out that have tried already resetting it by pressing the power button. And let me show you again how you reset it by doing that. You just keep holding the power button. You keep holding it. You keep holding it. And it should start flashing like that. That means it's, uh, it's going to balance and reset itself. Of course you have to have it on a level surface. Right now I'm just showing you. But anyways, a lot of people have been saying doing that, but sometimes that's not the case. Sometimes you might have a bad sensor, or these little pads right here are defective. So, I was able to fix mine, thankfully. Um, hopefully, that helps some of you out. Leave some comments below. I still have other issues with some other scooters where I have a the orange light here or a red light of death. I haven't figured that out. Hopefully, I can figure that out, and I'll show you guys. Alright, thanks for watching.